peace, love, and light, everybody. Thank you for tuning into another La La Divine video. So, of course, you know this is a blackout, so you know I'm coming with a channeled message from our ancestors to kind of get us some insight, the clarity that we need. So, I feel a lot of my divine feminines want to know, like, um, well, just to conclude from the message that I put yesterday about my um, experience in my twin flame journey. Um, I feel like I wanted to make a video on the divine masculine side of things. And I got some insight, of course, from my situation and from others. And I just wanted to kind of give y'all some insight on what may be going through your divine masculine's mind right now or uh because you know everything is timeless just because you listen to my message today don't mean it's gonna happen soon could happen later on down the line it could already happen or is happening so just remember that y'all for those of you who are like i don't resonate guys just be cool you know, never know it might be your story might not but anyway it's somebody's story so anyway um yeah, so when the Divine Feminine pulled their energy back, let's talk about that. All right. So I'm listening to a song by Jasmine Sullivan right now, Girl Like Me. I know some of y'all heard it. It's actually a hit. Her whole album was a hit, to be honest. But um, the reality is, is um, when... The, f the feminine pulled her energy back. She stepped into her power. She stepped into who she was. She stepped into her divinity, her star her statue. Um, just in her essence. Because sometimes when you are lacking self-love and you are giving your, a little bit of yourself too much to the things that surround you, people, places, and things... You kind of step out of your essence. You kind of, you know, give a little more energy in other places than yourself. And that's okay. We do it all the time. But I'm learning that, man, you cannot move forward in life and be happy until you worry about you. Then everything else matters. Like, for real. I mean, I know that's selfish, but it is what it is. I will never forget that statement. Okay? But anyway, so what happened was, like I said she she don't care about what does not serve her she don't care about what the masculine is doing she don't care about who he's sleeping with she don't care about the nudges he be trying to do to get her attention like she is so focused on her tunnel vision you know and honestly in that place it's not pretty it's not all what it's cracked up to be like for it's lonely you know what i'm saying especially when they reaching out and and want to have that communication or just I don't know they just want your attention and it's hard to um, you know to say no because that's a person you love and cared about you got a weak spot for this person but at this point divine feminine is like no uh uh or they're ooh goodness uh, somebody's rim almost ran over the, or somebody's tire or rim off their tire came off anyway right in front of me but god is good anywho that's crazy um i don't even know what i was saying it kind of caught me off guard but the divine feminine um is in this energy now where they're undecisive like they want to move forward they want to entertain the situation because some divine masculines are approaching they are their divine masculine is singing them love songs now or about to y'all for real you know right now you know everybody's self-reflecting and working on themselves to be their higher selves so when you're in that energy you know you automatically attract what is meant for you you know what's the best for you so a lot of y'all divine masculines was they best selves when they was with you. And then when they left and did dumb stuff, they went worse. Every day was worse and worse and worse. You just like was like appalled at all the stuff that they had cracking. And you was just like, all right, well, they ain't trying to get it right. So I'm going to keep doing me. Boom, bam. Keep it moving. 
So anyway, let's talk about the masculine because we already established the feminine took their energy back to working on themselves. And sometimes they in this energy where they're undecisive, but God ain't finna let them get off track, period. It ain't finna happen. So in this time frame, the divine masculine is feeling um, starved. Like it's like kind of like narcissistic supply in a way because it's like you gotta have it you'll do anything to get it and once you pull that energy back that's the energy they're in but they're too prideful to approach you some because some is like you know what put my pride to the side i love this woman <laughs> and they go after the divine feminine but you have those who are prideful and it's like no i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna allow this person to make me uh, feel like this. I'm not gonna let them know that I feel like this, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So some of y'all's divine masculine may be cold, maybe playing hard to get, maybe you know what I'm saying having cold and hot feelings. So it's kind of hard for you to distinguish if they want to come back or not, or if they just want to play some games, or if they're serious. You know. So, but anyway, the divine masculine in this energy where they know. That you was the best thing smoking. They know you were, you know, business oriented. You was about the money. You was about traveling, having fun. You really wasn't. I mean, yeah, y'all had awesome. Y'all made love, but it was different. It wasn't just about that. Like with the karmic and the masculine relationship, that's pleasure. Like all they had was that. They had no substance, no solid foundation. All they had was the sexual content. And I mean, and you can have sex with anybody. If you ain't got that connection, that heart, that love in it, then it's, to me it's pointless. That's why I don't be out here like that because I'm not going to waste my time with nobody. I know my treasures is beautiful and wonderful and I'm not going to give that to just anybody, period. But anyway, that's beside the point. So anyway, so the divine masculine, you have those who are putting their pride to the side. You got those who are not. And those who are not are going through the ropes they're going through their karma um they're having to see themselves for who they are and what they did as the wimp as the feminine pulls their energy back there is raw and rigged with them they they see who they are they see what they've done they see how much they've hurt this person and how they really do love this person you know i feel like sometimes the masculine was like i don't love her and then he like god like just hot cold all over the place and the, the feminine is like all right listen when you get yourself together you come holler at me and, and they ain't trying to get themselves together or they ain't trying to get over their ego to say okay i'm i'm, I'm done woman <laughs> and it's so crazy if you think about it the songs back in the day man they cries of they women didn't they now these dudes <laughs> Oh, you don't want to do right? All right, I'm going to the next. And then they crying later. They ain't got burnt or whatever the case may be. And they should have just kept, you know, <laughs> crying out. Letting the feminine know, baby, no, I can't be without you. Come back. Come home. Period. <laughs> but, yeah, they, they, they going through it, y'all. So just pray for them. Those who ain't got no intentions or desires to get back with them. Keep pushing. And just know that this energy is making them better. So it may be better for the next. But hey, look. At least they doing better. You know, some of y'all might have kids. So for real, them doing better is good for you and the baby. So hey, everybody wins. But those divine feminists who want their masculine back, that's kind of confused and all over the place because they don't know they because the the masculines don't know what they want now you all over the place because you, you know you don't know if you should stick around if you should move forward you know you just hang on hang tight keep focusing on you because they are feeling it they know what it, they know what's real but it, if they're not communicating with you and you confused god is blocking them number one and number two, they got to know what they want first. God not finna open the gate for them to approach you to y'all had this perfect union if they not sure. So, psh, for real, be happy because you being saved. You being, um, you know, put on the shelf for a time for them to, you know, know what they want to be sure. 
I feel like they are sure, but because, like I said, they pride and ego, they be battling with themselves. So until they sure, a hundred percent, they know, they know, they know. Then now the question is: Is divine feminine? You have to make sure you discern if it's serious or not, because it might be, it might not be. You know, you just gotta have that discerning spirit, pray fast, all of that, because you just never know. And it could be a beautiful blessing. You know, it could be a new, fresh start. Maybe both of y'all had to go through this separation to grow, heal, and evolve. So, shoot. Hey, listen. Follow your spirit. Don't listen to me. (laughs) Follow your spirit. Follow your heart. Trust yourself. You know the truth. You know what you got to do. Just keep moving. Okay? Well, this is what happens when you take your power back. And this goes for masculine, feminine, whatever. Never give y'all's power away. Ever, 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 ever. Okay? Alright. Well, that's the message for today that I have. I'm back home. (laughs) That's the channel message from the ancestors. Keep moving. Do your thing, y'all. Peace, love, and light.